I need a pep talk. So Jemima's been sold and I was going to go to an equestrian car boot with my friend because we had planned it ages ago. She is getting into riding and needs some boots and yeah, we just, we were going to go. She's now had to cancel because her car is broken down and she just, she can't go now, which is completely fine, fair. Do I still go? That's the thing I'm fighting with myself about because I don't necessarily need anything, but it might make me happy, but it also might make me sad. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. But also on another note, Sue, my other friend, keeps sending me shares to go try. So maybe I, maybe, yeah, maybe going will force me to go and message a share. recognize that bit over there was where we couldn't load Jemima and we had to use this gate to get her on that was fun <laughs> apparently there is 30 stalls here and over that way is where the ride is it looks, it looks quite organized but it looks quite empty it's very cute oh my god can I get one of these? I did yeah. get one last time yeah, and I've course. been thinking about it ever since yeah. <laughs> My grooming box is currently a water bucket. <laughs> dumped everything in the car but I can't go without ice cream. Yes please. Can I get a single with a flake? Single with a flake indeed. Any sauce? Uh, no. Oh, Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Because it's cold. I mean, to be fair, it has been hailing, but what a nice little treat. <laughs> My nose is red because it's cold, but I don't know. It just feels like, it feels like summer. I did such a good shopping that I just deserve a treat. Yay! Hello guys. I am outside Sue's house. I'm just waiting for her to come out because she is my go-to person where we live because I live quite far from my family who are horsey or my parents or anything like I don't really have well I do have an equestrian community here now but the community that I had before obviously we moved away that changes so Sue is my community here obviously we go to like equestrian car boots together we used to hack out together all the time and yeah she is my She's my go-to. She, I, I adore that woman. Um, and because, obviously, I no longer have Jemima. And to be fair, Sue was the one who found me Jemima in the first place. <laughs> now Jemima's sold. Um, I kind of was going to have a break. I, I don't know. I wasn't really sure what I was doing. But since saying I'm having a break, two thoroughbreds, which would be interesting, have come up on some of the community pages that I'm on or like pre-loved or horses for homes or something I can't remember um I found two horses one of them is a lot more established than the one we're going to go see on Monday so I'm really excited to go today and try this horse but I'm a bit nervous we'll see if Sue can get some footage because whenever I do try a horse I also send it to my aunt who is my she is the reason I'm into horses it's her fault that I've got this lifelong addiction and yeah 
I'm nervous and I feel a bit weird but I'm excited because it's a new chapter and I was hoping that I'd be able to afford to full loan but me and Nathan did the maths and we can't risk it at the moment so that's off the cards but maybe a share slash part loan situation again like Jemima was will be will work so yeah we'll see we'll see so yeah just waiting just waiting for Sue I'm gonna get a little video Not as chill as the one tomorrow. No, well, you, cheat, you see both, don't you? And then you make your mind up. Yeah. Yeah, she was taking him out, hacking him out, doing um, oh, no. first dressage that she did on Jen. She won. Oh, wow. About yeah. mil. You're a very good fit on him. It's a bit different to Jem. <laughs> yes, he's a little bit bigger. <laughs> And he's bright orange, hence why my hair is currently orange. I love that. <laughs> and they. Uh... Do you like yeah, this chalk in it? Mm. Oh, that's better. Too fast because he's got big paces compared to Jen. <laughs> he does have quite a big stride. Mm. See, she knows what she's doing. Yeah, she does. She just needs to convince herself she knows what she's doing. She was having um quite a few lessons as well on Jem, you know, and paying. Yeah. And, uh... Skin at Halloween. I've got my mare having the farrier tomorrow. First attempt at doing a back, she tried to kick him into the middle of next week. Yay. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Are we on the right leg? Yeah, you're good. Keep going. Yeah. Push. First from one extreme to the other, it's like a giraffe or a lovely little dresser, I think. Mm. It's alright. It's more about well, Chloe lovely, just though. getting the, you know, the feel of him. Feel alright? Well, that's a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> yeah, this is the more difficult run, so we might just need a tad more encouragement. I have literally just got in from cycling home from work and I'm waiting for Nathan to come back with the car so I can then go pick Sue up and we're going to go visit a another horse now which I'm super excited about. Now obviously whatever horse I don't choose I'm probably not going to be posting this because it's not fair for the owners. Um, we will see. We'll, we'll see what footage we get. Um, I did have a look back on the footage from yesterday and Sue has filmed it like long ways um which is fine like there's there's good footage that you can see and isn't it so funny how a little bit of sunshine and the outdoors and a horse can brighten up your mental health um so we're gonna see how this one goes today obviously both of them are thoroughbreds um i don't know if this one's off the track yesterday's was off the track so that's why like like he's not he's not a dressage horse bless him he's he's off the track so you've got you got you get what you get 
um, that he was really good and I really enjoyed it and he was really fun so it's probably gonna be hard to top that today maybe because I think the one today is a lot less like established than yesterday so I'm trying to get a cup of tea down really quick I'm gonna find some leggings to throw on probably some sticky ones <laughs> because it's another thoroughbred um yeah and we'll see but I was gonna wear the Ariat leggings that I got from the car boot but I didn't realize they're missing a button so I'm not sure what I can do there I'm guessing if I go to like a seamstress or something they'll be able to do something for me um, because these leggings are really nice and considering I only got them for a fiver from the car boot I think I can get them fixed so yeah I'm gonna gonna find some clothes to put on real quick and then we'll go pick up Sue oh but you know what I have not ridden in two weeks it's only been two weeks that I've not ridden I think maybe three I'm not sure um but riding yesterday like I'm feeling it like I feel stiff that's really bad isn't it might have to actually stretch today um so I just got home from seeing the horse and it didn't ride so yeah that's how that went um that's how it goes sometimes I guess so yeah I won't be showing any videos or pictures of that horse they were very sweet they were lovely but yeah I didn't get on so I'm gonna be messaging the first girl and hopefully as long as she liked my riding and how I was with him I might have a new shirt oh I'm scared now yeah It's also payday, so we're gonna order Domino's.